every smartphone company these days has its own version of a fast charging technology that they claim is the fastest. Or something like that. The only problem with that is that only one technology can be the fastest. The others can be faster. So we decided to settle the score once and for all. We put charging technologies from Samsung, Xiaomi, OnePlus, Motorola, Huawei, Google and Apple to the test to find out which one was actually the fastest. Hey guys, this is Akshay from bbomb.com and today's video is about 7 smartphones all at once. I've been arguing with people for a long time that OnePlus's Dash Charge is the fastest smartphone charging technology out there, but some people just don't listen. So I set out to find solid, verifiable proof and this is where we ended. Before I get started, I think you should hit the bell icon. It's just a tap or a click away and it ensures that you don't miss out on our future videos. Also, this video has been sponsored by AppMatch a cool app recommendation service that uses quizzes to recommend apps based on your interest. Now then, let's get started. We're using the Galaxy S8 with Samsung's adaptive fast charging, the Mi 6 with Qualcomm's quick charge, the OnePlus 5T with the famous dash charge, the Moto G5S Plus with Motorola's turbo charge, the Huawei View 10 with super charge, Pixel 2 XL with USB power delivery, and the iPhone 10 with, well, they just call it fast charging, right? We are using these phones because they all come with similarly sized batteries. To make everything else even, I formatted all of the phones and put down three conditions to charge them in. A 0 to 100% charge with the phones off, a 15% to 100% charge with the screens on, and a 15% to 100% charge with the screens off. We used the chargers that were provided in the box with the phones, and for the iPhone 10, we used the standard adapter that comes with the iPhone because I do not agree with Apple's strategy of selling fast chargers separately. Screw that. With the phones completely discharged, I connected them to their chargers. Then it was a matter of waiting. To my surprise, the View 10 with Huawei's supercharge tech reached 100% in 1 hour and 21 minutes. Seriously amazing considering its bigger 3750mAh battery. If you're wondering about the OnePlus 5T, and I know you are, don't worry. Dash charge wasn't too far behind, with the OnePlus 5T taking just 2 extra minutes, getting fully charged in 1 hour and 23 minutes. The competition between the View 10, 5T and Mi 6 was very close and honestly very interesting. But the Mi 6 came in third, taking 1 hour and 27 minutes to get fully charged. Then we got the Galaxy S8, followed by the Pixel 2 XL and Moto G5S Plus at the same time. That was surprising, but hey, it was cool to see as well. The iPhone 10 was a huge disappointment. I mean, I knew it would take longer, I just didn't know it would take more than twice the time. It took the iPhone 3 hours and 10 minutes to fully charge. Wow! Undeterred by the disappointment that was the iPhone 10's results, I proceeded to testing the phones from 15% to 100% with the screens on. I'm sure you guys saw that OnePlus ad where they compared Dash Charge with other technologies in a screen on test. It seemed that OnePlus was unbeatable in screen on test, so I tested that claim as well. And it proved itself true. The OnePlus 5T took just 18 minutes to get to 50% charge. Let me pause here so you can realize the ridiculousness of that charging speed. In half an hour, the 5T was up to 72%. The closest phone so far was the Mi 6, which was at 55%. In 1 hour and 14 minutes, the OnePlus 5T was done. Dash Charge won, but not spectacularly. The View 10 took a few more minutes, clocking in 1 hour and 18 minutes to get fully charged. Once again, a really great charging speed. Both our winners were followed by the Mi 6, the S8 and the G5S Plus. Surprisingly, the Pixel 2 XL took 3 hours and 18 minutes to reach a full charge. And the iPhone 10 took 3 hours and 56 minutes. Once again, let me pause here while you appreciate that it took 4 hours to go from 15% to 100%. By now, I wasn't even sure why we were even comparing this phone to the rest. 4 hours for a full charge. Damn it, Apple. I would have really stopped testing the iPhone 10, but I thought maybe, just maybe, it could redeem itself when charging with the screen off. But boy, was I wrong. Dash charge hit the ground running, as it always does, and in just 17 minutes, the 5T was at 50%. In 30 minutes, it was at 
My oh my, I was loving this. Its closest competitors were nowhere near it. The Mi 6 was at 64% at the 30 minute mark and the rest were, well, they were even further behind. In just 1 hour and 14 minutes, the 5T was done and I realized that screen on or off, dash charge is the king of all technologies. The 5T was followed by the Galaxy S8, stealing the View 10's place. The Mi 6 was the next to reach 100% in 1 hour and 20 minutes, followed by the View 10 and the G5S Plus, which took the exact same time, 1 hour and 44 minutes, to get to 100%. The Pixel 2 XL came next, followed by the very obvious, spectacular loser, the iPhone 10. Although it took less than 3 hours this time, so I guess we can call it a win. If there is one thing we can conclude from this test, it's that the OnePlus's Dash Charge and Huawei's Super Charge are equally amazing. I mean, you cannot go wrong with either of them. Unless you pick out the iPhone 10, in which case it will take you a tad longer to recharge your phone, like an hour or two longer. Another thing we can conclude is that when OnePlus says a day's power in half an hour, they're not kidding. 73% charge in 30 minutes. What sorcery is this? In my experience of using the OnePlus 5, 73% can actually last me through the day. And even if it doesn't, I just plug it in for 15 minutes and I'm back up to 50%. I noticed a couple of trends while I was doing these tests. Firstly, dash charge starts off really fast, like a sprinter running a 100 meter race. But then it realizes it's a marathon and slows down, which is when Huawei and Xiaomi catch up to it. Their technology knows it's a marathon and starts off just fast enough and stays steady throughout. Basically, Dash Charge is the absolute best out of all of these technologies. Huawei's Supercharge comes very close, which is definitely saying something. I mean, I sure didn't expect Supercharging to come from behind and beat Dash Charge in any scenario whatsoever. Other than that, Qualcomm's Quick Charge is definitely right up there with the best of the lot. However, Google uses USB power delivery and that's quite inconsistent with its speeds. That's where the iPhone 10 comes in as a savior. It took so long, the Pixel 2 XL doesn't seem all that bad. Now let's talk a bit about our sponsors for this video. AppMatch is a service that suggests apps that are custom fit to your interests. They have a variety of quizzes that you can take and get recommendations accordingly. Let's try out this cryptocurrency quiz. I can answer these questions and at the end, the website suggests the best coin according to my preferences. Instant transactions, fees under a penny. The first thriving decentralized autonomous governance structure in the world. We consider Dash to be the most promising project in crypto. Plus there are a bunch of recommended apps related to cryptocurrency as well. I can swipe left and right depending on whether or not I like them. The service is completely free and you should try it out if you ever need recommendations about apps you like. So those were the results of our ultimate fast charging battle. Which phones do you guys use and which technology is your favorite? Do let me know in the comment section below. Also give this video a like and subscribe to our channel for more amazing tech videos. That's me signing off. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.